We are excited to lift this work based on the support of a number of community-based organizations like the Black Worker Center, IDEPSCA, UCLA Labor Center. They realized that justice delayed was justice denied for plenty of residents in the city of Los Angeles. And so we wanted to be intentional to address some of the violations that were happening in the private sector areas of commerce, education, employment, and housing, and to make sure there is accountability and local enforcement. We'll still work with our federal and state partners, but as a city, we wanted to make sure that our residents found justice and found justice in a swift and appropriate manner to address some of the violations that were happening here. When you think about commerce, say for example if someone doesn't allow you inside their business because of your race. Um, when you think about education, if someone doesn't let you in their private institution of higher learning because uh, of your age or because you have two moms. I think it's important to also know that when we think about employment, someone doesn't allow you employment because English is not your primary language. Or if you think about housing, if someone doesn't rent to you because they have assumptions about your citizenship status. So these are the areas where people's civil rights are violated in the city of Los Angeles, and this happens more frequently than people know. Hate and discrimination have no home in the city of Los Angeles. So if you feel like there's hate and discrimination and you wanna be ahead of it, on the proactive side, we have the LA for Everyone campaign and a number of outreach programs and education programs that we utilize. However, if someone needs to be held accountable for violating your civil rights, we have the mechanisms to make sure that there is accountability on those areas and of course with the fines up to $250,000 and with the ability to make referrals to our partners at the state and federal levels. We want to build a Los Angeles for everyone, and that is why the LA Civil Rights Department stands here with the residents of the city of Los Angeles to not only celebrate the beautiful mosaic of this city, but to protect it as well.